So yesterday, former President Donald Trump held a rally at Madison Square Garden. And to no one's surprise, it sold out. However, <laughs> those over at MSNBC, they just couldn't help themselves. No, they couldn't help themselves because they decided that they're going to compare President Trump's rally to a rally held 85 years ago by the American Nazi party. And this just falls in line with what we've seen in the past few days with, you know, the comparisons of Trump is Hitler, Trump is Hitler, Trump is Hitler over and over and over again. Now that's not the only news that came out of this rally. Because evidently a comedian decided to tell the joke, and it was a really bad joke in my opinion. And the crowd even themselves said as much by the boos and the groans when the joke was told. Well, that's the only thing that some people seem to be talking about coming out of this rally last night, besides the fact that they're comparing it to a rally in 1939. So here you have MSNBC. This is from the Daily Mail. MSNBC shockingly edits images from Nazi rally into coverage of Trump's MSG appearance. MSNBC has been slammed for comparing Donald Trump's rally at Madison Square Garden to a 1939 Nazi gathering at the same venue. Host Jonathan Capehart recalled the Nazi rally when speaking about Trump's event on Sunday, saying that in 1939, more than 20,000 supporters of a different fascist with the letters A-H, the initials A-H, packed the garden for a so-called pro-America rally. Uh, what he leaves out is that it was the, the Nazi, American Nazi party. But I digress. MSNBC showed images of the Nazi rally at the garden, comparing, complete with Gutz stepping and Hitler salutes, as Capehart accused Trump of holding a fascist event at the iconic venue. Now, hold on a second. <laughs> oh, MSNBC, where do I begin? So, Trump is holding a fascist event at Madison Square Garden. Well, then I guess Vivek Ramaswamy is fascist. I guess Dr. Phil is fascist. I guess Robert... F. Kennedy Jr. is fascist. I guess Tulsi Gabbard is fascist. Uh, Tarka Carlson's a fascist. Um, God, who else can I name that spoke? Dana White's a fascist. Um, MSNBC has, has, has gone off the deep end, folks. They have totally gone off the deep end. Social media users expressed outrage at MSNBC over the comparison with many pointing out that MSG also held many political events in the past, including the 1992 Democratic National Convention. Uh-oh. Then what are they? I mean, the Democrats in 1992 are, are no, in no way resemble the Democrat Party of 2024. In fact, most of those Democrats in 1992 would probably now be called Republicans. MSNBC made the Nazi comparison, even though multiple speakers at Sunday's Trump rally were Jewish. <laughs> so here's a little snippet that Riley Gaines pulled, and I'm going to play this for you guys. And, and this is just, I can't. You just have to see it for yourself. But that jamboree happening right now, you see it there on your screen, in that place is particularly chilling because in 1939, more than 20,000 supporters of a different fascist leader, Adolf Hitler, packed the garden for a so-called pro-America rally, a rally where speakers voiced anti-Semitic rhetoric from a stage draped with Nazi banners. When a Jewish protester rushed the stage, the Associated Press reported, quote, 
instantly. A dozen or more stormtroopers set upon him, knocking him down and beating him as he held his head in his arms. Most of his clothing was torn from his body. Later, he was booked for disorderly conduct. This is desperation. That's what this is. This is desperation from what is basically the, um, the media arm for the Kamala Harris campaign. Because that's what, that's what MSNBC is. Some would say the same about Fox being the media arm for Republicans. I would disagree with that. Not because I'm a Republican, not because I like Fox News. As a matter of fact, I'm not a fan of Fox News. But, but to even go one step further, okay, not just hosting the DNC in 1992, how about this? The convention was also notable because hundreds of the, you know what, the guys wearing white was also at the Democratic convention when FDR delivered the nominating speech for Alfred E. Smith in 1924. So if you really want to make a comparison, do you really want to go there, MSNBC? But that's, that's not the only story that come out of this. They're also all up in arms about a joke, a rather poor joke, made at the rally last night. And of course they go to their favorite mouthpiece, AOC, who had this to say. And they're trying to blame this rhetoric on a so-called comedian. This is not a comedian. This is the Trump campaign. These are, they invited this rhetoric on their stage for a reason. It was a chorus of speakers on that campaign for a reason. It was vetted and they knew exactly who was going to say what before they went on. And so the only backtracking that they're doing right now is just because tens of thousands of Puerto Ricans happen to live in Philadelphia, Florida, Michigan, Wisconsin, and they and also the several swing seats in the house in the in in the House of Now You want to talk about jokes? How about George Lopez? Donald Trump said he was going to build a wall. And George Lopez said, you better build it in one day, because if you leave that material out there overnight. So. It was a joke. It was in poor taste. But if you want to go to the extent at AOC and those on MSNBC, well, then this is this joke here by George Lopez is offensive to Mexicans. I mean, one for one, tit for tat. I mean, I really don't care myself. It's a joke. It fell flat. Just like George Lopez's joke kind of fell flat. Just listening to the brief response here in this clip. The point of all this, folks, is that this is a massive psyop. This is, this is Operation Mockingbird to its fullest extent. Oh yeah, before I forget, one last thing. Vice President Tim Walls. He was doing a live stream on Twitch yesterday with AOC playing Madden 2025, trying to get the youth vote. Well, Tim Walls yesterday had this to say about Trump's rally at Madison Square Garden. 
there's a direct parallel to a big rally that happened in the mid-1930s at Madison Square Garden. Walls added, and don't think that he doesn't know for one second exactly what they're doing there. Of course, Trump's niece, Mary Trump, who doesn't like her uncle at all, had, had this to say, so we're really doing this again, eyes wide open. I mean, this is, this is the closing argument of the Harris campaign. Orange man bad. Trump's a fascist. This is their closing argument, folks. Now, the comments on Riley Gaines' post, the never-ending hypocrisy of the left is something that will never be talked about for centuries. Actually, I should say will, will be talked about for centuries by politically, political science professors, hopefully, provided that we remove the Marxists and globalists from power in our institutions, as well as media and government, of course. Mind-blowing. Accuse your enemy of what you are doing as you're doing it to create confusion. And that's what this is by MSNBC. Liberals are openly arguing that half the country are Nazis because they want secure borders, are sick of spending so much at the grocery store, and don't want 10-year-old kids to have life-threatening, life-altering surgeries. No matter how much you despise the media, it's not enough. Weird that they show clips from 1939 featuring an event attended by Democrats. Hmm. I mean, I could go on and on and on and on, but I think I've made my point. My point is, if you disagree with somebody on the left, if you have a differing opinion of somebody on the left, guess what they're going to call you? They're going to call you a racist, a fascist, a homophobe, a bigot, a misogynist, every istinism under the sun. Just because you don't agree with them, you don't agree with their opinion. And I think it's about time we get back to, hey, we can agree to disagree and go on with our lives. That's what we need to get back to. Will it happen? I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Tell me what you guys think about all this. Comment down below. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will catch you guys.